Hello and happy June. I'm Lindsay Gordon and this is your 90 second real estate rundown of the top news headlines. Before we get started, make sure not to miss any important news and education from PropLogix by clicking the subscribe button in the corner here. And now, your news. A lawsuit filed against First American Title Company alleges that the company was negligent for failing to protect sensitive information. First American has since shut down the external access to the information and says there's no indication any large-scale access occurred. In May, Philadelphia and Baltimore were both hit with separate malware attacks. Both attacks halted real estate transactions with no solution in sight. As for the reason for the attack in Baltimore, it appears that outdated computer systems could have played the biggest role. So be sure you're working on an up-to-date operating system as well as browser. Do yourself a favor and get off Internet Explorer. In more cybersecurity news, a Hawaii woman almost lost $45,000 in an attempted email phishing and wire fraud scheme. Thankfully, the home buyer stopped to call the title company when she noticed the instructions in the email told her to wire the money to a person instead of the title company. We recently published a blog about how to detect phishing scams and protect your buyers from wire fraud. Check the link in the description. A real estate investor in Dallas is accused of forging the signatures of dead homeowners and then selling the properties in cash deals. Nearly half a dozen properties were deeded over to the companies owned by the Dallas investor long after the individuals had died. The president's plan to impose tariffs on Mexico could impact home buyers. Mexico provides much of the materials in new family builds and apartment buildings, including steel and cement. Economists are predicting home builders will raise prices this coming year, making affordability even more of a struggle for home buyers. And that's all for the rundown this time. All the links to the news headlines are in the description below, and please don't forget to let us know if you liked the video by commenting or liking. Also, if you haven't already, click that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.